Did you know that the average male produces about 525 billion sperm cells over a lifetime? That's enough to repopulate Earth 70 times over. Today, we're going to take a fascinating journey into the world of the male reproductive system. We'll explore the unassuming heroes, the amazing journey they undertake, the supporting cast that helps them along the way, and how to keep this incredible system healthy. So, are you ready to dive into the fascinating world of the male reproductive system? Buckle up, because it's going to be a wild ride. Our journey begins with the testicles, or as I like to call them, the unsung heroes of the male reproductive system. These two little chaps, each about the size of a golf ball, are the master craftsmen of the male body, tirelessly working around the clock to produce the one thing that makes men. Well, men, that's right. They're the factories that churn out sperm and boy, do they churn out a lot. These guys are like the Santa's elves of the male body. Just as Santa's workshop buzzes with activity, making toys for all the good boys and girls, these testicles are hard at work, producing up to a thousand sperm every second. Imagine that, a thousand potential future Olympians, artists, or maybe even the next Einstein, all manufactured in a space no bigger than a chicken egg. And just like a factory, the testicles need the right conditions to operate. It's why they reside outside the body in the scrotum. It's not because they enjoy the breeze, mind you. It's because sperm production requires a slightly cooler temperature than the rest of the body. So they hang out in their own personal man cave, keeping cool and doing their important work. And let's not forget about testosterone, the hormone that puts the man in manly. The testicles are also responsible for producing this vital hormone that influences everything from muscle growth and voice depth to hair growth and libido. So the next time you marvel at a bodybuilder's muscles or a singer's deep voice, give a little nod of thanks to their hardworking testicles. So next time you see a pair of testicles, remember, they're not just hanging around for fun, they're hard at work. Now let's follow the sperm on its incredible journey from the testicles to the outside world. Imagine, if you will, a microscopic Indiana Jones, armed with nothing more than his genetic code, embarking on a monumental quest. This is our sperm, and the start of its journey is the testicles. Here in the testicles, they live in a winding maze of tubes, a sort of spermy labyrinth, if you will. But our intrepid hero doesn't stay there for long. From the testicles, our brave sperm begins its trek through the Var de Ferens, a long and winding tube. It's like a roller coaster ride, but without the fun and the cotton candy. Aided by the rhythmic contractions of the tube, the sperm is propelled forward. It's a bit like a microscopic bungee jump without the terrifying drop. Next up is the prostate gland, the gateway to the urethra. Here, our sperm is joined by a cocktail of fluids that form the semen. This is the sperm's protective suit for its journey to the outside world. Think of it as a super-powered shield, protecting our hero from the harsh external conditions. And now, we've reached the final stretch, the urethra. This is the home stretch, the final sprint, the last hurrah. The sperm, now part of the semen, is propelled out of the body during ejaculation. It's like a rocket launch, but on a much, much smaller scale. And with that, our sperm has completed its journey, having traveled from the testicles to the outside world. So there you have it, folks. The incredible journey of the sperm, a story of resilience, determination, and a little bit of luck. It's a microscopic adventure that happens billions of times every day. And yet, each journey is unique, each sperm a potential life. And that, my friends, is the epic journey of the sperm. It's like the Lord of the Rings, but on a microscopic scale. But what's a hero without his trusty sidekicks? Let's meet the supporting cast of the male reproductive system. Now, you might be thinking that the testes are the main stars of the show. But let's not forget about the ensemble cast that's just as essential. Take the prostate gland, for instance. It's like the director of a movie, ensuring everything runs smoothly. This little walnut-sized organ produces a special fluid that nourishes and protects the sperm. Without the prostate, our leading men wouldn't be quite as energetic or vigorous. Then we have the seminal vesicles, the script writers of our story. These twin structures generate the majority of the seminal fluid, the liquid that carries the sperm. This fluid is like the dialogue in a film, essential for moving the story along. Without it, our heroes would be stuck in place unable to embark on their epic journey. Let's not forget the unsung hero, the bulbarethral glands, 
also known as Cowper's glands. These are like the special effects team, adding the finishing touches. They secrete a clear fluid that prepares the way for the sperm, like a red carpet at a movie premiere. This fluid neutralizes any acidity in the urethra, ensuring safe passage for our leading men. And last but certainly not least, we have the vas deferens, the transportation crew. This long tube carries the sperm from the testes to the urethra, like a limo whisking our stars to the premiere. Without the vas deferens, our heroes wouldn't even make it to the screen. All these parts work together in perfect harmony, each playing a vital role in the grand production that is the male reproductive system. They might not get the spotlight as much as the testes, but they're indispensable in their own right. So there you have it, the unsung heroes and the supporting cast of the male reproductive system. It's like a Hollywood blockbuster, isn't it? Now that we've met the cast, let's talk about how to keep them in top shape. Just like any star-studded ensemble, our cast members in the male reproductive system also need a bit of tender loving care to perform at their best. So let's dive into some tips to keep your system humming along like a well-oiled machine. First up, we have our daily exercise. You know what they say, a body in motion stays in motion. So lace up those trainers and get moving. Not only will it keep your heart pumping, but it will also keep the blood flowing to all the right places if you catch my drift. Next, we have the age-old advice of eating a balanced diet. This includes a healthy dose of fruits, vegetables, lean meats, and whole grains. Think of it as fuel for your body's engine. You wouldn't put low-grade fuel in a high-performance vehicle, would you? Of course not. So feed your body what it needs to keep everything running smoothly. Now let's talk about hydration. Water is the lifeblood of the body. It helps to flush out toxins and keep all your systems in check. So grab a glass and get sipping. Just remember, we're talking about water here, not the other stuff. Next on the list is avoiding harmful substances like tobacco and excessive alcohol. These substances can wreak havoc on your system, causing all sorts of problems. So do your cast members a favor and steer clear of these. Lastly, regular checkups with your doctor are vital. Don't shy away from these visits. Your doctor is your ally in this journey towards maintaining a healthy reproductive system. They can spot any potential issues early and help you address them before they become major problems. So, there you have it. A few simple tips to keep your cast members in top shape. Remember, a balanced lifestyle is key to a healthy system. Remember, a healthy reproductive system is a happy reproductive system. So take care of your cast members. Well, that's all we have time for today. I hope you've enjoyed our tour of the male reproductive system. We kicked off with a surprising fact, remember? That the human male produces about 1,000 sperm every second. That's a whole lot of potential, eh? Then we introduced our unassuming heroes, the testicles, working tirelessly in their scrotal headquarters, manufacturing these microscopic adventurers. Their journey, oh, what an epic voyage it is. Traveling through the vast deferent, like explorers in a winding river, until they reach the prostate, the bustling city, where they get a boost of nourishment. Our supporting cast, the seminal vesicles, prostate and cowper's glands, all play their important roles, providing the sperm with fructose for energy, alkaline fluids to neutralize acidity, and a lubricating fluid for their final journey. And remember, a healthy system is paramount. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, and avoiding harmful substances can all contribute to maintaining a robust reproductive system. It's like keeping the factory running smoothly and the workers happy. To top it all off the grand finale, the sperm sets off on its ultimate mission, seeking out the egg in a race against millions of its counterparts. It's like the most intense survival show you've ever seen right in the microscopic world. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more entertaining and informative content. Until next time, Keep smiling and keep learning.